Welcome back to the road show this morning in the buzz. A prayer banner is at the center of controversy at a local high school. According to the Providence Journal, the local ACLU has sent a letter to the superintendent of Cranston Schools after a parent complained about a prayer banner in Cranston High School West's auditorium. Now, the ACLU says the prayer violates the First Amendment and asks for it to be taken down. School committee chairman Michael Traficanti says he never noticed the banner in the auditorium before and that this is the first complaint he's heard of. Traficanti also said that the language could be changed to not only include the phrase our heavenly father the issue is supposed to be discussed behind closed doors tonight at a committee meeting so do you guys think this is a violation of the first amendment uh, all right first off here we go ben the moral, go. Tell, the moral tell compass, on the kid up. compass of our uh, show two things first off Supposedly this banner's been, three things. Supposedly the banner's been there a while. I know our, our, uh, uh, our own Courtney Caligieri went there and said she didn't even really notice the banner. They mm -hmm. never really referenced well, and it. And Traficante yeah. said he didn't either. They didn't do like a school prayer or anything like that. Um, you, you should know by now to probably not have things like this in your school because this mm -hmm. is what happens. I mean, how many times do you see this where there's a banner or, or something or should we do prayer in school? I mean, how many times do you see this? And, and sure enough, people end up talking about it. Mm -hmm. But... I'll tell you what, don't people have anything else better to waste their time on? Like, honestly, well, one parent this. walked in, yeah. saw this banner, and got offended. Really? This thing, really, it offended you? Let me really? ask you this. If you, Get a life. If this were, Sorry. If this were um, a, a state that was pre predominantly Muslim, and you were a Christian in a Muslim society, it could be offensive to you if you are going to school under the banner of, of Allah. All right, here's the thing. They're not going, this is my take on mm -hmm. it. If, if, like you said, these people didn't even notice it, I, Courtney, I don't even think she, she noticed it. Maybe yeah. after it was like just three years she saw it. After, basically. But, you know, it's not like every morning they're saying, all right, everyone can get to their desk and over the intercom they're saying, you know, five Our Fathers mm -hmm. and ten Hail Marys. You walk by it, it's like the sign that says, you know, no bare feet or no right. chewing gum yeah. in the hallway or whatever. And, you know what, it's, just take it. No one cares if it's there. Take it down. No one's going to care. I mean, if, you know, there's really, I mean, I don't think but it's I like a... These, incidents and we see them so many times how just one person speaking out can like get this big well, but controversy. Here's the thing. If you don't defend, if you don't defend the rights of a, a minority of people, then then you will be at risk of not having your rights defended in another, in another situation. Oh, well. up for every yeah, as a matter should of fact, they take it down? I, personally, yeah. I don't believe they should take it down. I think that we have done enough to push uh, God out of our society when it was the, the moral uh, ground that this country was founded on and I think that the argument has been taken Taken too far, and I think that a lot of people would argue that you know part of the degradation of our society is when we push uh, some of the foundations of morality and these values uh, out of our school and out of our society. However, I can see the other side of it where people say, "Listen, I, I don't believe in this," and here I am, you know, coming in every week or every day into this auditorium under a banner. But again, it's 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 like Pat said, it, you're not you know they're not making. Um, reference no one's reciting it. Yeah. Reciting no, yeah. every day yeah. when they're walking. Yeah. Yeah. It's the just sign. there. Like we are champions. Like yeah. Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. And well, it's just kind of there. Right. And certainly you today. could you could leave yeah. it up and put another you know religion or belief system or something up and show diversity yeah. to this. And it wasn't Christian body. or Catholic specific either. It, well, it didn't say our Heavenly Father. True. But it, that's it true. Could be the Jewish faith. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. I went to Hendrick and if we lit menorahs in home room, I wouldn't have really got bent out of shape. And with that, I'm going to move over to Courtney Caligiri, who actually went to the school. Courtney, do you remember this particular uh, prayer banner? I do. I mean, I don't remember all of the wording in particular. Like I said, we never cited it out. It was definitely there hanging. Maybe we'd read it while in assembly. But, I mean, I'm okay with it staying up if maybe they update the wording. I think anything that's been somewhere for a long time can um, be modernized, if you will. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'll definitely be keeping my eyes peeled for that. But we have lots of comments on the live blog on foxprovidence.com and on Facebook. And Doc says, uh, lighten up on the banner, and this one's from Erin. She says, one person complained. Obviously, no one noticed or cared before. Why should it matter now? Here's the poll right underneath the live blog. What do you think about the prayer banner inside Cranston West High School? A, I think it violates the First Amendment. B, it doesn't bother me. Let it stay up. Or C, keep the banner but update the language. And we also have that story here if you want to catch up and read a little more on it. Here's a snapshot of our Facebook page, and Diana Cohn says, What happened to separation of church and state? This is a public school. A prayer banner should not be hanging anywhere. 
And Michelle Mary Renzi says, I think that if it was up to st or put up by students, then it should stay up. We're trying to encourage kids to have opinions and stand up for what matters in their lives. So if you guys have an opinion or maybe go to Cranston West, you know, you guys can weigh in and, and tell us what you think. And I'll be back in about 30 minutes with those official poll results. For now, we're going to go back inside the kitchen. <laughs>